one other thing that he did mention was that it's the compassion that he had towards the perpetrator too. Um, you know, he was saying, you know, he's a young guy. In the wake of the Barhaven mass murders, the sole survivor, a father who came home to discover his family massacred, told community members he has compassion for the 19-year-old accused of the terrible crime. He understands, um, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a child as well. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not like that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to set my mind like that yet, but you can see that uh, the kind of person that he is, uh, a strong person and, uh, you know, uh, definitely a better person than me. Community members and members of the local Buddhist clergy visited 35-year-old Danushka Wikramasinghe in hospital Friday morning. They say the father is still recovering from wounds suffered after coming home from a cleaning job Wednesday night to discover the horrific scene. When he came uh, to back to home, that person even tried to damage him and uh, hit him. Even that uh, suspect uh, uh, tried to, you know, hit him and, you know, cut him. Yeah, he got uh, stabbed some, you know, and cut on the face. Yeah. Bante Sunita is a monk at the temple the family attended. He tells City News that the oldest child, Anuka, had only just begun attending Dharma classes at the temple. He was actually uh, bright and uh, courageous and strong, yeah, smart. We're gonna be in this residence for, I'm not sure how many days, but multiple days. Um, and it's important that the team is methodical and, and does it right, right? Uh, we don't want any mistakes, we wanna be thorough, and the team that we have here is second to none. Ottawa Police Chief Eric Stubbs was at the scene of the crime Friday afternoon. He couldn't provide any further updates, but says he hopes people are reflecting. This neighborhood is uh, obviously lots of families and it's, it's greatly impacted, and I see a lady pushing a, a baby cart across the street right now. It's, um, it's impacting the community a hu huge, and I, I just hope everybody uh, takes the time to reflect on uh, how they're feeling and get the help that they need. The Sri Lankan High Commission says it's in shock. The father was just in their office last week trying to get a passport for his two-month-old daughter. Now they're working on visas for Danushka's family. Plans for a funeral are underway, but community members say Danushka told them he'd like to see his family laid to rest in their new home, Canada. He doesn't want to go back to or send back, uh, back bodies back to Sri Lanka. He, he, need, he, you know, he even uh, doesn't like to see the bodies in that way. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.